in Safawak, we call it the Special Forces Advanced Urban Combat School. The importance of this is training the warfighter. Um, with budget cuts and with things going the way they are, this is some of the best training that guys would get on a, on a consistent basis. This class always brings a good mix of very seasoned and experienced guys who've been in group for 10, 15, some guys, you know, 20 plus years, then also brand new guys who just completed the course. So it's a way to get them together, give them a standard of training, and help prepare them. It's, for some guys, this is the last bit of training they get before they deploy. This is one of the training events where it actually brings their team together. You start to realize, you know, oh, okay, I can see this guy. I know that's him in the dark because the way he's walking. The new shoot house, it is a state-of-the-art facility. It's got the latest technology. It's got hundreds, if not thousands, of cameras that you can see from every different angle. And you can quickly reconfigure it so you can give guys different looks at, uh, at, at any different type of structure that you want. So that new shoot house uh, is going to be a great training tool for uh, special operations, certainly, and any other unit that, that ends up coming down to use it. It's going to be a great ask for the Alabama National Guard. The charge goes. Uh, it's a loud boom, and then you just kind of feel the overpressure come. Once, once you hear that, you know it's go time. You know, you, your heart's racing, and your breathing rate goes up. We're teaching people how to think, not just react. So through going through these scenarios and going through this training, they're getting that dose of stress, that stress inoculation. As the training progresses, they're able to actually think and assess the situation. Here's where we are. Here's where the threats are. Where, where does it make sense to move? And they can do that quickly by applying the lessons learned. You're relying on everybody. You're relying on someone to pick up your security without even talking to the guy. You're relying on someone to place that charge correctly as you're looking away from it and he's not gonna drop it or he's gonna prime it correctly. And this training too, I mean, the face of war is always changing. There are places still where there is house to house fighting. And he used to say that when you're in it, that you're not gonna go and conduct an assault with your, you know, host nation. One of the nice things about this being a National Guard Green Beret-led school is that we still teach those core things we need to cover, but we're also flexible. So it's always growing and improving as a class. So even though there are some guys who've come back here three, four times, the class is always a little new, and there's more to learn and more to be gained from it.